threatening to do. Now all of a sudden they want an appointment and it's perfectly normal while Schumer called for blocking all Bush a Supreme Court nominations back in 07. Of course they lie. So what's the difference? So what do you want to talk about, Mr. Scalia, the pillow? He is a really great sound bite. Did you hear how slowly Hillary talked about it again with the slow voice until the no-wire hangers popped out again? Here's, is this Lindsey Graham or some other Graham? You won't believe this. As Lindsey Graham, who I always said to you, was a liar through and through. Thank God he was knocked out of the box early on. A two-faced, bad lawyer of the worst kind. You know, they did movies like Bad Cop, Bad Detective. This guy is so evil. Listen to Lindsey Graham saying he would vote for Hillary Clinton's liberal Scalia uh, replacement in clip nine. Listen. When an election is over, the president wins. They have a chance to send qualified nominees of their philosophy to the Senate, and I will vote for them if they're qualified, even though I would not have chose them. But this president has abused power. The Democratic colleagues that I've worked with closely on other issues decided to change the rules in a historic fashion to pack the court, and uh, that abuse of power will have a consequence with me. But to conservatives, if Hillary Clinton wins the White House in 2017 and she sends over a qualified person who is liberal, I will intend to vote for them if they're qualified, so this election does have consequence. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he just said? If she sends over a qualified person who's a liberal, I'll vote for them if they're qualified. If they're liberal, they're unqualified. Just by definition, the word liberal means someone who's going to go around the law. That's what it means today. It's not the word liberal from when I grew up, which had a different connotation entirely. And then, of course, here comes the seltzer man, the pickle man himself, Bernie Sanders, Colonel Sanders' illegitimate relative. Again, he chimes in a, a lunatic like this. A loser of the lowest. Listen to what he has to say now. Here, here he is. But it will be all my comprehension. I have never made a nickel in my life. I've never worked anywhere. I took my wife to an outhouse in a sugar farm. She left me the first time with a child who I could not raise because I don't have a dime in my pocket. I have always resented anybody who had a nicer car, nicer shoes, and a nicer wife. And there is no reason that I will stop bashing people who make any more money than I ever made in my life because I am a poor man and I always see the world through the eyes of a loser. So now I have something to say about Obama's constitutional rights in clip 10. It is beyond my comprehension, and it just speaks to the unbelievable level and unprecedented level of Republican obstructionism against Obama from day one. This is not something that is in debate. The Constitution no. of the United States of America He's the provides now. that the president appoints, nominates a Supreme yeah, Court justice, and mm -hmm. then the Senate holds hearings and deliberations, mm -hmm. and votes on whether or not to yeah, approve that right. nomination. Bring the idea that now. Republicans want to deny the President of Here the United States his basic constitutional right is beyond my comprehension. Global warming. Go into global warming now. Bring in global warming. Bring it up now. Global warming and, and billionaires and millionaires. You left that out. He explained his family couldn't imagine his success because my brother and I, mom and dad, grew up in a three-and-a-half-room rent-controlled apartment in Brooklyn. And so the family scraped the money together and sent the crackpot to the University of Chicago. Failed to earn a living when he came out. And even as an adult, it took him 40 years to collect his first steady paycheck. And it was a government check. This comes from Investors Business Daily, January 26th, of who this crackpot really is. This is unbelievable. Of this crazy, angry, angry loser, radical, and agitator. And then uh, where's the one where he took the wife to the sugar shack and she ditched him? Anyway, you get the picture. Had a child out of wedlock. Oh, he's in good company there. That's the that's the that's the basic demographic of the of the Democrat. Here it is. One of his first jobs was registering people for food stamps, and it was all downhill from there. Bernie took his first bride to live in a maple sugar shack with a. <laughs> I'm sorry, maple sugar shack with a dirt floor, and she soon left him. I wonder why the poor girl left him. Hi, hun. We're home. Penniless, Bernie goes on unemployment. Then he has a child out of wedlock. Then Bernie is desperate. He tries to be a carpenter, but he couldn't bang in the nail straight, according to another carpenter. Couldn't support him. So what does he do? He tries freelancing for leftist rags, and he writes about, quote, masturbation and rape. Well, that, that immediately makes him qualified to be head of HHS. He drives around in a rusted-out Bondo-covered VW bug with no working windshield wipers. Again, there's the demographic. Friends said he was always poor and his electricity was turned off a lot. 
They described Sanders as a slob who kept a messy apartment, and this is what his friends had to say about him. The only thing Sanders was good at was talking nonstop about socialism and how the, the rich were ripping everybody off. So you know who he is already. Everyone has one of them in their family, right? That you have to see her, uh, twice, uh, twice every few years around funerals and weddings. That kind of relative shows up. That's the only time you ever see them, a funeral or a wedding. Now he's running for the presidency. Now let's get back to Alito. 855-407-282. WBOB Radio. Fred, welcome to the program. What's your comment? Yes, Doctor. Uh, I was, uh, you said something about movies uh, connecting to Scalia. There's a movie, an old movie called The Pelican Brief with Denzel Washington. It talks, it's, it's almost, this thing almost comes out of a movie. You're talking about the green, and uh, uh, this movie is about a, a oil speculator, a rich man who's in league with, uh, who gave a lot to the president. And All right, whatever. So you're saying the, 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 the fiction novel, The Pelican Brief, has a bit of an overlap with the death of Mr. Scalia. How so? Well, in the sense that you're talking about how, uh, how he stopped the green uh, monies from uh, uh, yes. actually coming through. So yes. you're talking about several, several billions, trillions of dollars, maybe. Yes, that's right. He stood in the way of the green gangsters who were sure to make a trillion dollars a year off the racket until I was stopped by none other than the man found with a pillow over his head. Thank you for the call. That's the name of the novel, Pillow, Man with a Pillow on His Head. He wants to appoint, it came out today that Obama's thinking of appointing the stooge, L Loretta Lynch. Do you know who she is? Do you remember who this woman was? Al Sharpton dug her up from the U.S. court system. Obama put her on as Justice Department head. Now, do you remember one of the first things she did? Robert, you got to dig for this. I know it's the last minute. Do you remember the big hullabaloo when L Loretta Lynch talked about stifling free speech in America? And she had to backtrack two days later. Does anyone remember? Raise your hand if any of you remember who Loretta Lynch is already gone. It's already a quarter to the hour. They're already gone. They listened for two hours. They had to Trump. They're back to the picnicking already with the crab. They got the, the crab nets in. They're bicycling. They're fishing. They're, let's see, it's a quarter to six on the East Coast already. The Chardonnay is out on the table. The barbecue is out because the weather's freezing back east. In Cincinnati, it's snowing. Here it's summer. Oh, it must be crazy weather. It must be because of global warming. In my day when there was crazy weather, my mother said must be the nuclear bombs they were setting off. Now it's the weather. Always a reason for crazy weather. Weather is called crazy for a reason. It's called weather. Generally not controlled by idiots, by man, in other words. Generally controlled by nature, natural forces, natural phenomena. That's what controls weather. But when you live in an age where the idiots think they can control anything, they want to control weather. That's what they're telling you. Weather is a result of this, or weather is a result of that. Okay, what do you want to talk about in the waning moments of this hour of the Savage Nation? I already give you everything you need to know and then more. Everything you ever wanted to know about the death of Antonin Scalia and then some. But I can guarantee you this, more will come out over the next few hours and days than you could ever imagine. You got it? You found it? Wait, hold it. Robert found it. Robert's the best. He has the hardest job in radio and the most fun job in the history of radio, which is being my board operator. Young guy, under 30. We've been together how long now, Robert? A year? Two years? Time flies. Robert Borowski started... Never worked a show of this consequence before. No, he didn't. I'm telling you, this guy is so good. And we've had our ups and downs because I'm, I'm not easy to work for because I demand so much of myself. And I, I'm the only one in radio who demands things in the middle of a show without planning it. Nothing is scripted in that regard. I said, Robert, could you find the clip of Loretta Lynch, who Obama wants to put on the Supreme Court to replace the man found with a pillow over his head? Listen to what she said not too long ago on the Savage Nation. Now, obviously, this is a country that is based on free speech. But when it edges towards violence, when we see uh, the potential for someone t lift, lifting that mantle of anti-Muslim rhetoric, or, as we saw after 9-11, violence directed at individuals who may not even be Muslims, but may be perceived to be Muslims, um, and, and they will suffer just as well, just as much. Uh, when we see that, we will take action. So, in other words, she's going to decide as God Almighty herself that when speech edges towards violence, we don't know what that means. It's what she thinks it means. This is something from the ancient days of kings. She will take action and throw the book at anybody who she doesn't like. 
it caused such a controversy that she was forced to backtrack about a half a week later. Do we have that of the back? You do? No, you don't. If you have that, you get a, t a double gold star, Robert, for the day. Right now, you only get three gold stars. You get four. But we're going to have it for you when we come back on the Savage Nation. Be here or be nowhere. Oh, you found it? Give it to him now. F the hand is up and the hand is down. You have your finger in the air like ISIS. I don't know what you're doing. I see a finger in the air like a middle... Like of course, we prosecute deeds and not words. Uh, but we always have a concern when we see um, rhetoric rising against any particular group in America that it might inspire others to violent action, and that violent action is what we would have to deal with. What we are focused on, obviously, is protecting all of the people under the ambit of the Department of Justice. In other words, she gave a little backtrack a few days later. And she said she was really meaning they would prosecute action, not words. But what she really means is she'll prosecute words, not actions. Back on the Savage Nation in a minute. I plan to fulfill my constitutional responsibilities to nominate a successor in due time. And there right. will be plenty so of time was, for me to do He's going so. to put a rubber stamper on like Loretta Lynch, D. Val Patrick. God only knows what he wants to get away with. What has he not completed of his punch list to transform America? Well, let's see. You still have your guns, don't you? Second Amendment. He's got to get someone who wants to snuff it. Let's see. Immigration. What does that mean? Flood America with third worlders so there's no longer an America that you recognize. He's almost gotten that without a law. Could you imagine what he'd get if it was supported by the Supreme Court? Let's see. Abortion. That's not really resolved completely. That's never been fully resolved. He's got that one. What else is on his plate? Listen to me. This is a very historical deal here. And there was a wonderful summary of all of it by Carrie Severino on the National Review. And she said it's unbelievable that this is happening right now. She says, Josh Blackman reports on his blog that the last time such a confirmation occurred under divided government was when Rutherford B. Hayes appointed Justice William Burnham Woods in 1880. Who knows who that is? Amazingly, that's the only historical example since the Civil War of a confirmation during an election year under divided government. So it's almost unheard of, but that doesn't mean that he won't do it. Because the president, as you know, is a, is a revolutionary, and he has demonstrated his contempt for the Constitution over and over again. His previous two appointments to the Supreme Court never belonged there. They're ordinary women. I wouldn't even hire them for, a, for a, a, an accident case. If I had a, a, a fender bender, I would not have hired Justice Kagan or Sotomayor to represent me in court. I figured that they would lose. That's how good they were as lawyers. And then they're on the Supreme Court now. This is something out of a movie. And he will go ahead with it because he wants a rubber stamp person to push his ambitions for more executive power. The only hope we have is that the Republicans finally become an opposition party. Good night and God bless America. I should add, pray for America. We are living in the most dangerous time yet. This is not a joke. Demand a Warren Commission and an autopsy. Good night. Savage.